Hi, hello, welcome back to another lecture. We are in lesson two, enhancing the report. The first topic is about applying slicers, filters, as well as sorting to your data. All right, so let's look at some uh, a theoretical part of this one. Um, what do you mean by the filtering? The process of filtering allows you to remove all of the data that you don't need, uh, but you can only focus on the data that is very important for you or maybe that you need. Okay, so you can apply the filters directly using the filters in the filters pane that you can see on this here. Or maybe let's head back to your Power BI desktop and see. Now we are in Power BI desktop. What you can do if you really want to apply the filters, you can go to the filters pane and add the filters here. Or you can just directly um, apply the filters by adding the slicers to the report. So there are two ways of applying the filters within Power BI report. Okay, so both the slicers and or filters are similar in terms of uh, filtering uh, they both let you filter um, the uh, unnecessary data so you should try out both and, and decide which one uh, fits for your requirement or maybe the uh, the business okay or maybe for your data <coughs> so the contrary to the both the filters and slicer there is another topic is called sorting the data. You can also apply the sorting to your data that will not uh, let you remove all of the data, but what it does, it displays the data, the important data, or it's gonna highlight your data um, in your visualization without removing any data. So that's other part of um, applying sorting to your data contrary to filters and sorting. Okay, now let's look at uh, adding a slicer. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to add a slicer here. I'm going to click add a slicer. So my slicer is this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add something maybe, let's add a country to that. I'm going to go here, add a country to that slicer. Here. So it looks like there are blanks. Let me go to the filter span and remove that. Okay, so now I have the a slicer with a list of values here. I have a slicer with a list of the values. So it will allow you to select the one value so that your uh, data is going to be filtered. All the visuals within this page are going to be filtered out. So this is one way of filtering the data. Okay, but in the slicer, what you can do, it will allow you to um, do some modifications to that. What you can do, you can go to the format option. If you want, you can make it actually you see here you can also clear the selections and there is a, a small drop down here select the type of the slicer the slicer can a, either be listed drop down because we are using the a categorical slicer here because the country is a categorical uh, dimension right so categorical field actually now if you cannot if you don't have a space here you really want to uh, add more more uh, report elements to this page you can use the drop down so that it's gonna save your space within the report page so that's other one um, you can either make it as a list or you can uh, just convert into as a, a drop down and you can even go to this format option you can even make it only single selection um, right now you'll be able to choose the multiple values by holding the control button here but you can without even holding the control button also you can make the multiple selection, multiple values, multi-select um, slicer. So for that, you need to make this off, multi-select with the control off so that it will be perfectly a tick marked uh, list. So you can choose the multiple uh, countries without holding a control button. That is one thing. Hey, I really don't want the user to choose the multiple values. He always, he always has to choose only um, <clears throat> single value so in that case what you can do you can just make this single select on so that user will be able to choose only one value with this radio button option so he will not be able to he or she will not be able to choose multiple values so that's other one and uh, if you make it the single select off then if you want the show select all option you can also do that so that it's gonna have the select all options as well now you make the single select on so now you don't have actually a the select all but if you do this a drop down you will have only the same still single selection right if you really want to have this select all option you, you must 
make this single select off then make this single uh, make this show select all option is on so that's all about the single uh, slicers but the slicer can even be numeric values right so for example let me clear this off this filter and let's make it a uh, list again and let me add one more filter here slicer here sorry and for example if i go and add the a date field to this one add a date key to this so you will be able to choose the values as a drop down um, uh, you know as a dates as well right so you have for example let me go ahead and increase the size for you to see it properly so I think it should be 30 okay let me change something to this yeah that's fine this now this is fine so I have a date key uh, a date um, the slicer uh, in the dates in the categorical slicer you have only two options just changing it from list to drop down or and drop down to list but for the date transformations for the date slicer you'll have the more options there you can either make it as a between values you can either filter the uh, report page using the between dates on or before dates on or after dates or you can also have the list of dates then you can also make the drop down list of the dates and the relative date and relative time so very good you can also have a relative date and relative time if you really want to see the last one uh, years you can also do that now I don't have any data for the last one year here so that's I don't see that any data there right so and then for example if I this, you want to see the last five years data then you can also see the data for the last five years okay if I say last six years or maybe the last seven years years data so that now you have some data here right so that's all uh, about the uh, slicers but let's look into the uh, filters again the you can also uh, uncheck the unclear the filters sorry they clear the selection so that the report will not get filtered uh, there is another option of filtering the data that is about the filters right so far we have seen filtering the data using the uh, slicers but now we are going to look at the filtering the data using the filter span or up adding the filters in the filter span now if you go to the filter span here uh, you can also add something uh, for example if I go to the colors let me add a colors um, on this page or maybe let me go ahead and go to select this visual just total sales by year number bar chart and let me add the uh, colors to this here so what it's gonna do it's gonna filter this uh, only that visual actually only that visual okay now what if you want to do this filter uh, what do you want what what if you want this color to filter the data all the visuals in this page what do you need to do you need to add that uh, uh, colors to the filters on this page so what it does is going to filter all the visuals within that page look at this now all the visuals are getting affected with this uh, filter applied here but not the slicer okay that's one thing but you can also what you can do hey I want the uh, color um, filter to be applied in all the pages of this report you can also do that in that case what you need to do you need to uh, add this color to the filters on all the pages so that if you do this blue uh, black selected and go to the page 2 the, the visuals in the page 2 are also uh, got filtered with that filter selections right for example you see this one look at that and even if you go to the detail page the detail page might also filter for this for the same color selections in the filter span okay so that is what about the the filters um, so what I'm what I mean to say there are three types of filters so filters on the visuals filters on this page and filters on all the pages so filters are on the uh, visuals for example filter on this visual means it's gonna filter only uh, that visual that's the first one actually filters on the visual means the filter is gonna apply to only that particular visual within that page then filters on this page means all the visuals are going to be filtered out for the value selected in the filter uh, pan for that bit of uh, 
uh, colors for example right then filters on all the pages means if you if you choose this filter on all the pages option all the visuals in all the pages are going to be filtered out for the value selected in the filter span so that's all about the filtering the data okay now let's look at the other one uh, you can go to for example detail page here what you can do you can also use the a sorting option but sorting option doesn't let you filter the data but it will let you focus more on the most important data for example right now the make is uh, sorted out on the uh, descending but if you click one more time it's going to sort on the ascending and you can also click on any other column so and make that column um, either display in the descending order or ascending order so that you'll be able to or maybe you can go here the more option here more option you have a sort by you, you can sort by on any column that is that are being included in a report for example hey i want to sort the data based on the country then i would like to choose the uh, ascending or descending order Right. So this is another way of uh, looking at your data by applying sorting to your data. Okay. So this is all about um, apply filters, slicers, and sorting to your data mm, in your reports. Okay. And one more thing, uh, the filters. Actually, whenever you apply the filter, for example, I apply a filter here. Now I would like to always see the data only for the blue and black, but I would like to let the loser know. Uh, let the user know what filter that I have applied in the filter span. What you can do, you can just make this. Uh, uh, sorry, lock this. You can just lock this. What 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 will happen with this locking means? User will be able to see uh, what colors. Uh, I mean, what filters that are applied in the colors column. But he will not be able to make any any more changes to these filters in the after publishing a report. So that is what I mean by lock option. If you don't want user to uh, edit the filters and change the filters you can just lock this and this is about uh, clearing the filters and let's say you want to apply a filter but you don't want that to be shown for your user you can also hide the filter so with that what will happen it's going to hide thus the filter once you publish a report onto the power bi service it's not going to be show on uh, shown for your end user it will not be shown for the end user so likewise you can also even hide the whole uh, filter span as well you can show or hide the filter span from the report uh, readers as well. That's can that is also possible. Okay, so that's all about the the filters, slicers, and the sorting the data. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.